the ideal Ireland that we would have, the Ireland that we dreamed of, would be the home of a people who valued material wealth only as a basis for right living, of a people who, satisfied with frugal comfort, devoted their leisure to the things of the spirit, a land whose countryside would be bright with cosy homesteads, whose fields and villages would be joyous with the sounds of industry, with the romping of sturdy children, the contest of athletic youths, and the laughter of happy maidens, whose firesides would be forms for the wisdom of serene old age, the home, in short, of a people living the life that God desires that men should live. With the tidings that make such an island possible, St. Patrick came to our ancestors 1,500 years ago, promising happiness here no less than happiness hereafter. It was the pursuit of such an island that later made our country worthy to be called the island of saints and scholars. It was the idea of such an island, happy, vigorous, spiritual, that fired the imagination of our poets, that made successive generations of patriotic men give their lives to win religious and political liberty, and that will urge men in our own and future generations to die, if need be, so that these liberties may be preserved. One hundred years